Hey, Neil Smith here. Hope you're doing well. This is the solution to amplitude practice problem one. In this particular problem, pay close attention to the day on which your GMT lands as it is different than the day you took the bearing for the amplitude of the sun. Take your time and enjoy. Compass deviation by amplitude of the sun. Practice problem one. Problem one. And the first thing we're going to do is get our givens recorded. In the problem, we are given some information. We'll record them here. The first is the date. And that's September 28th. September 28th. And our position on September 28th was this DR position. So DR position. Latitude 27, 16.7. 27 degrees, 16.7 minutes south. Longitude is 113 degrees. And 27.2 west. 27.2 minutes west. You observe an amplitude of the sun. The sun's center is on the celestial horizon and bears 273 degrees PSC. So the sun bearing equals 273 degrees PSC. The chronometer reads 1 hour 17.26, so that gives us the chron time is equal to 1.17.26, 1.17.26 hours, minutes, seconds. It'll give us the cron error as well, which is 1 minute 49 seconds slow. So 1 minute 49 seconds, and that is slow, which means we add it. And the variation in the area is 6 west. Variation equals 6 degrees west. And then the problem asks, what is, what is the deviation of the standard magnetic compass? So the first thing we need to do is find the GMT so we can look in the nautical almanac and get declination. So the GMT is equal to, we start with the cron time, which is 170. Yeah, 11726. So 011726 hours, minutes, seconds. And then we account for the error right here, which is one minute 49 seconds slow. So we say one minute 49 seconds. And it's slow, so we add it. <clears throat> Let's add these together. Six, that's five. One, that's 75 seconds. 18 minutes, one hour. So the 75 seconds, we're going to take 60 out of here and <clears throat> turn that into a minute. So we will get one hour, 19 minutes, and 15 seconds. Okay, and there's ambiguity in this because a chronometer has 12 hours, so it goes around twice in a day. It's essentially a.m. and p.m. We might be over here. If we add 12 hours, we can get the p.m., so we could get like uh, 13, 19, 15. So 13 hours, 19 minutes, and 15 seconds. Um, and we have to determine which one of these we are working with when we took this. So our sun bearing was 273. 273 degrees is in the west. So that means the sun was setting, and which means we are in the PM. Let's find our local mean time. And to do that, we have to, this is Greenwich mean time, but we have a local mean time and it's based on our longitude. So we take our longitude to 113. 
So longitude of 113 degrees west, we divide it by 15. That'll give us how many hours away from Greenwich Mean Time we are. 113 divided by 15 equals 7.5. We need to, if it's 0.5 or higher, we round up to the nearest hour. So it's 7.5, we round it up to 8 hours. And now we have to figure out, is that 8 hours? Is it added or subtracted from Greenwich? So if we're here, if we just draw a little graph out here, here's some time zones. If we go to the east, we are adding. If we are in the west, we're subtracting. In this case, we're the west. So we are going to subtract that 8 hours. So if we come down here, to these, we say minus eight hours, and we'll subtract eight hours over here too and see what we get. So you look, it's one minus eight. Can't really do that. But what we can do is go, you add 24 to one. So 24 plus one equals minus eight equals 17. 17 hours, 19 minutes, 15 seconds. This is going to be an approximate LMT, local mean time. And then let's look over here, 13 minus 8. 13 minus 8 should be 5. 13 minus 8 equals 5. So 5, 19, 15 hours, minutes, seconds. So which one's... We, again, we saw setting up here. We saw the sun at 273, which means it's in the west, which means it's setting. So which one of these local mean times, or LMTs, which one? If it's setting, it's in the PM. So we are over here. This 17, this is saying it's like 5 PM. So it's going to be this one, but we don't use our LMT, right? We back up. We are here. This is our mean time. And now we have to figure out, this is the hardest part of the problem. What day is it, right? So this is, we were eight hours before. So this right here is this date. The 28th. We took this at our local mean time on the 28th, but our cron time is, is here, right? It's in Greenwich. So we we're eight hours earlier. Well, if you add eight hours, we're in the next day. So that's really the hardest part of this problem is figuring out what day it is. So right here, this is one day ahead of our local time when we took it, so it's not the 28th, it jumps to the 29th. So right here, this is the 29th. We're gonna use this one. So GMT, GMT is equal to 119. 15 hours, minutes, seconds, and it's September 29th. And now with this, we can go into the Nautical Almanac so we can get our declination. And we'll get our declination, and we'll get our D value as well as the correction. Let's check this out. Nautical Almanac for September 29th, April, May, June, July, September 29th, September, there we are, September 29th, we're in the sun column, our GMT is over here, and our GMT is September 29th, <clears throat> 29 and 1. So here we are. South to 18.2. And as we go down, it's getting bigger. So we're south to 18.2, getting bigger. 
we're south 2 degrees, 18.2 minutes, and we're getting bigger right here. <clears throat> so we'll get our D value from the bottom here. Our D value is 1. So we record that. And now we know our D value is getting bigger. So we need to find the correction for D. We flip back into the corrections table. And we're doing this for 19 minutes. So we come to 19 minutes. Here's 19 minutes, this whole section. And we get a, these are the D corrections. So the values on this side, which is one. So for a D value of one, the correction we use for 19 minutes is 0 0.3. So record that. 0 0.3 minutes. And it's, we add that. So we add this together. We, we're going to end up with south 2 degrees, 18.5, 18.5 minutes. And this declination is, it needs to go into a trig function that needs to be all degrees. So we're going to divide this by 60. And our declination is going to equal south to point, we go 18.5 divided by 60, 18.5 divided by 60 equals 3, 3, 1, 2.31, 2.31 degrees. <clears throat> okay, so this is our declination. Now we're going to do the same for our latitude. So our dr lat, is equal to uh, here it is equal to 27 16.7 27 degrees 16.7 minutes and that is south so it's going to equal 27 point we're going to convert these two degrees divided by 60 16.7 divided by 60 equals 0.28. So our dr lat is equal to 27.28 degrees south. Now we have <clears throat> the information we need to plug it into our formula for amplitude. So we say that the sine of the amplitude is equal to the sine of declination divided by the cosine of latitude. That's why we got these into degrees. So let's take a look at this. So the sine, what's the declination? We say the sine of the declination, 2.31, 2.31 divided by the cosine of the latitude, 27.28, 27.28. We do this and we'll get sine 2.3. This might be intimidating. It's, it's, it's not, it's like easy. Sine 2.31 equals, take it out to five decimal places, point zero four zero three one point zero four zero three one and then the cosine of twenty seven point two eight cosine twenty seven point two eight equals zero point eight 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 seven eight zero point eight 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 seven eight and then we do this <clears throat> division. So point zero four zero three one zero four zero three one divided by point eight 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 seven eight equals point zero four five three five point zero four five three five. <clears throat> and so this is the sine of the amplitude. So we need to take this sign and move it over here. So 
we end up amplitude is equal to the sine inverse of 0 0.04535. Punch this in the calculator. You just go second and then sine, and that'll give you that negative one thing, and then point zero four five three five four five three five point zero four five three five okay enter <clears throat> two point five nine so two point six and this is two point six degrees and now we need to name this so it up front is going to be east or west and we can tell because the sun's bearing it was 273, so it was in the west, it was setting, so we name it west. And then we name it this, on the end, north or south, we name it the same as declination, south. So now we need to figure out the degrees from north, right? So if we just kind of make ourselves a little graph, and again, we're north, south, east, and west. So this one, we start out, we're west, and then we're south of west, 2.6 degrees. So we're down here. So we can say 270 degrees minus, right? You take these 270 degrees, and then we subtract here. So from north, we're going to be 270 degrees minus 2.6 degrees and that is going to equal our amplitude from north 270 minus 2.6 equals <clears throat> 267.4 267.4 degrees true from north and so we'll put this in our we'll correct our compass t v m D, C, true, variation, magnetic, de deviation, compass. When we go down, we add west. So true, 267.4, 267.4 degrees, true. Variation was given up here as 6 west, 6.0 degrees west. When we're going down, we add west. So... 267.4 plus 6 equals 273.4. 273.4. And then we're calculating deviation, but we're given compass. It's right up here. Where was it? Sun bearing 273. 273.0 degrees PSC. And so the difference between these two. You could see is 0.4. So you could take 273.4 minus 273 equals 0 0.4. So 0 0.4 is this west or east. We have to name it. So when we went this way from 273.4 down, it must be east because we, we're subtracting it going down. So 0 0.4 east deviation. <clears throat> Let's see what it says in the problem. There we are. B, 0 0.4 east deviation. And that's the answer to practice problem one using the amplitude method.